Today we're heading out to the Riparian Preserve at Water Lake Ranch. This area is located in Gilbert, Arizona. It is just a little east of Greenfield Road, south of Guadalupe, in what we would consider the older part of Gilbert. The town of Gilbert created this in 1999. It was combining water resources, some wildlife habitat, some educational opportunities, as you can see up on the hill there, where there's some like, classes and other things take place, and recreational opportunities. And today, that's what we're gonna take part in. We're gonna hike this area. The trails themselves, there's not a lot of hills, they're not hard, but they actually have uh, 4.5 miles that you could get done in here. Some switchbacks, some rural trails that are gravel, and uh, some of these beautiful concrete trails you see here. There's various vegetative zones, they're called, throughout the park, and even a paleontologist like dream. It's a dig site for kids who want to come out and have some fun around that. There's also a, an observatory up on the hill there. This is like 298 species of animals live here. You've got birds and insects and fish, amphibians, reptiles, you have it all. It's also, sections are, of, of this park are sort of created to represent the different areas of the Sonoran Desert, which is kind of cool because you've got lots of different vegetation and they specifically planted vegetation and different animals sort of react to that differently. So there are sections where you'll have birds that congregate in just one area of this park or you'll have different types of fish or you'll have different types of plants, which is kind of cool. It's also a community fishing area. So if you have a fishing license, local here to Arizona, which I think is really, I think they're only 10 bucks. You can go out and fish and have some fun there. I think somebody on the right hand side is fishing, coming away from the lake. And up on the left is that observatory, which actually is a pretty, a pretty big one, considering this is a smaller park. The type of fish I was mentioning earlier, in case you're interested, you know, they stock these lakes, but you got rainbow trout, largemouth bass, sunfish, catfish, carp, tilapia. That's a lot of fish. The intent behind Water Lake Ranch and the preserves like this throughout the Sonoran Desert is to recharge the aquifer below with water from the runoff. And you can see here, this is an example of one of those pods that represents a certain area of the Arizona Desert. So you can go back and look at that sign, you can see exactly what it was calling out and what plants we should be seeing up here. There should be a natural creek that runs through up on the left, so we'll get a chance to see that. And they have a lot of these viewing areas where you can pull off and check out sort of just the wildlife and relax a little bit. What's really neat too and I like is that the main drag of Greenfield and Guadalupe, which are two large arteries, are actually just off the parking lot. So you're in the middle of a hustling, bustling town and you have an area like this to come and relax and enjoy. They do a really nice job of calling out the type of trees and animals you'll see in different areas and on the left here. It's describing what a creosote tree is, which is very common in the southwest and runs along the highways and byways all throughout Arizona. There's the main area that also is a library local to the town of Gilbert. Isn't that neat? That creek right there is actually operates as a stirring mechanism so it moves water between the different ponds. So we have a pond that's behind us here and then one that's the major one that we've seen out towards the library there. And so that creek just stirs the water and keeps things flowing, creates a bit of a current. birds there are. It does such a nice job of calling out the birds. 
You know, water resources are such a critical component to living in the Southwest, especially these days. Lake Powell and the Colorado River have really never been lower. I think we're looking at these type of preserves as helping to recharge the aquifer that's below the ground and really allows areas like Gilbert, Queen Creek, and all throughout the Southwest to recharge groundwater resources. And that's what that calls out right there. So we're gonna head a little bit left here and head out a little bit more of a rural trail, taking us around one of the second largest ponds in the preserve. The temperature right now out here is about 64 degrees and I can tell you the animals birds are loving it. Just over that stand of bushes is our third pond and that's a little east so that's heading out towards Superstition Mountains. It's a little east of our position so right now we're just walking through and it's in between these two large ponds. One thing that's really clear is photographers love this area. They'll come out in these stands as you see there, built behind bushes allowed photographers and just sightseers, bird watchers to get the best of the local wildlife. It provides a hidden spot for you to observe and the wildlife is pretty comfortable having people around in the area. There's an example right there. So you just get right behind that wall and you've got this full stand and on that bench on the left, if you're sitting down, you even have a great view. Well-groomed trails and lots of places to sit and enjoy the wildlife. Whether it's the middle of the summer or the middle of the winter, the shade and the views really provide an opportunity to get away and relax and sort of connect with nature around you. There's one of the little guys you're most likely to see, a little cottontail bunny. They are running all over around here. All the sage and cottonwood with the dust. I'm so glad I took my allergy medicine this morning. Wrapping around and heading back to the main library area, there's 4.5 miles of trails in here if you do it right. A little bit of switchbacks and looping around. In this case, I think we walked just a little bit over a half a mile so far. So not a long walk, but I got a chance to connect with the bunnies, the birds, and see this beautiful morning here. Like different ponds have different types of such a relaxing way to start the day, just getting out and connecting and communing with nature. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed making it. By the way, if you haven't had an opportunity yet to subscribe to Dewey's World, I'm doing videos like this as well as drive videos, travel vlogs from across the Southwest. Our latest trip out to Texas is starting to post up now. And we've got some great drives coming from the Phoenix area soon, including Ahwatukee, 
downtown historic Glendale, and lots of other great things. If you did enjoy the video, please think about sharing it with your friends. Click the like button. It'll keep you up to date on the latest from Dewey's World. And by the way, if you have a place you'd like to visit in the Southwest or the greater Phoenix area, leave it in the comments below. I'll grab the camera and we'll head that way. Subscribers just like you have put comments about us traveling up to Prescott, which we'll do this summer, as well as Flagstaff, Tucson, and the small towns surrounding the greater Phoenix area. Thanks again for coming along on this awesome hike. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a blast making it.